That's why our Eric Nacton joins us now live. And Eric, the rally started this afternoon and it's still going on. What's it like out there? Yes, it's being called a day of action rally and teaching for Palestine at UH Benoa. This is really something we've been seeing all over the country. Uh, quite a few people showing up uh, pro-Palestinian, also many people uh, pro-Israel as well. And uh, if we want to pan over a little bit, uh, things are wrapping up at the moment. This is uh, at the corner of University and Dole. Now, some of the demands students at the protests we're looking for include withdrawing all UH funds from companies and institutions that are complicit with what they feel is Israeli apartheid, occupation and genocide of the Palestinian people as well. And uh, some here are also in favor of boycotting Israeli academic and cultural institutions. There are also those that don't want UH to have any type of strategic partnership or involvement with Israel whatsoever. Various protesters would also like to see a ceasefire and a highly experienced faculty member in Palestine studies. We want the university to really cons to um, disengage from a lot of the harmful practices that it may knowingly be a part of, as well as unknowingly, such as terminating the UART contract, um, which is the university affiliated, which makes us a university affiliated research center for the Air Force and the Navy, um, and allows task-based research to occur at this university. Um, the other thing is transparency around the investments that the university has that may be tied to the defense defense industry as well as um, as well as um, companies that are supportive of Israel um, and to really look at a lot of these issues and to seeing how again our university is playing a role in the violence that's occurring and I'm currently with Jamaica a UH professor what is the main message you want to get out there you know, as an uh, indigenous serving institution, as a Native Hawaiian place of learning, we're here to show support for other occupied indigenous people, indigenous Palestinians who are undergoing a genocide. And our main message is that there needs to be a ceasefire and the University of Hawaii needs to cut its ties with companies and other countries that are engaged in genocide. Um, we feel very strongly that this is a part of our kuleana as Kanaka and as allies who are also experiencing a belligerent occupation, who live under a regime of settler colonialism. And so we would like to share that message here and also support uh, the other university activists around the world who have taken up this message in support of a ceasefire in Palestine and in support of a free, deoccupied Palestine. All right, again, we are seeing uh, Palestine flags, Hawaii flags, Israel flags, American flags, quite a few people represented. I'm also with Talia. Your main message you want to get out there tonight. Um, my main message is that um, those of us uh, Jewish and Israeli supporters who came here today, we came here to support the Jewish and Israeli students on the UH campus who are feeling the rise in hostility right now on the campus. We want to make sure that they feel supported. We're also here to support indigenous people. The Jews are indigenous to the land of Israel. We also support the native Palestinian people as well. We're calling for actual long-standing peace, which is not possible if we allow Hamas to remain in control of Gaza. Best of all, everything ended peacefully tonight. Everybody had their message heard. For now, from UH Manoa, Eric Nacton, Isla News. Back to you.